So unfortunately the Mexican Grand Prix was just a bit dull wasn't it? It was set up to be a great race between Red Bull and Mercedes, but it just didn't turn out that way at all. And the only real highlight of the race was seeing Daniel Ricciardo charging his way through the field after receiving a time penalty, and it was great to see some of the old Ricciardo back. But despite the lack of action, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen both have had some things to say following the race. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content. And you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1, and there'll be a link in the description. So Verstappen's anger isn't actually related to the on-track action. If anything, Max had a simple race, walking away with it and on top of that taking his 14th win of the season, more than what any other driver has ever been able to achieve. But what Verstappen is unhappy about is comments made on Sky, with the Dutchman revealing he was boycotting the broadcaster due to what he claims is constant digging. The decision reportedly related to Sky's pit lane reporter Ted Kravitz, who on multiple occasions had used the word robbed when referring to Hamilton not beating Max to the 2021 title. Max said, this year has been a constant kind of like digging and being disrespectful, especially from one particular person. At one point, it's enough, I don't accept it, you can't live in the past, you just have to move on. You keep disrespecting me, at one point, I'm not tolerating that anymore, so that's why I decided to stop answering. Now Red Bull team boss Christian Horner backed up Max, and felt an accusation of championships being robbed is not impartial commentary. He added, We're obviously just disappointed with a series of derogatory comments that have been made on Sky, so we felt that this weekend we would just take a break. Some of the commentary is excellent, but some of the pieces, there's too much sensationalisation being done, and we need to stand together as a team. Now this isn't the first time Max has done this, with the Dutchman having previously refused to give interviews to Netflix for their Drive to Survive series, believing that the show faked rivalries. But earlier this year he did reveal that he has come to a good understanding of how he and the show can work together, and it looks like Verstappen will be doing interviews with Sky again in Brazil, with Horner saying that normal service will be resumed at the next race. So Mercedes actually had decent pace in Mexico. Mexico City stands 2,240 metres above sea level, meaning the air is thin. So while drag has been an issue for Mercedes all season long, it wasn't as much of an issue in Mexico. And with their car concept effective at producing downforce when run as low to the ground as possible and Mexico being a high downforce circuit, Mercedes found themselves in a good position by being on the pace through the weekend. While they just missed out on pole, they did look strong in the first stint of the race, especially with Hamilton. I mean he was able to keep within 2 seconds of Verstappen's leading pace in the first stint on the slower and more durable mediums compared to Verstappen's softs. Now ideally the team would have stayed out as long as possible with both Hamilton and Russell and go to softs. I mean being on that tyre certainly helped Ricardo at the end of the race for example. But because Mercedes were worried about the mediums dropping off, and the pace both Red Bulls had with newer mediums after their earlier stops, both Mercedes drivers pitted early for hards. And it just didn't work, with them not working around the circuit and the mediums not degrading as much as what Mercedes thought. So it turns out that Red Bull's plan to start on the soft and go to the medium was the correct one, and Hamilton felt the race could have turned out different had he started on the softs. He told Sky F1, When I was on the medium tyres there wasn't really any degradation when they pulled me in, so I think ultimately we should have been on the softs. It's something that I'd asked and questioned, I thought maybe one of us, the two Mercedes, should have had a soft to be able to attack. And team boss Toto Wolf has conceded that Mercedes got it wrong in Mexico, and admitted the team didn't expect the medium to last for as long as they did. He said, We discussed whether the soft and the hard was a viable one-stop strategy, and we thought it was never going to go, so soft medium wasn't even on the radar. Now I do think on pure merit Mexico would have been Mercedes' best chance to win, given the nature of the circuit. They'll be kicking themselves for that tyre strategy and it clearly wasn't the right one, but I think they may get one more chance to win this season in Brazil, given the high downforce nature of the circuit may suit their car. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.